We start off with the car, the Four of Swords, and that indicates that um, you need to rest. Um, you could have had a few heart breaks or um, upsets, uh, not major. Um, it's normally something to do with uh, self-imposed things or intellect or words, words spoken, little arguments, but you need to rest, lay your soul down, take a break from that. Nothing serious, it's not a major arcana. And then it says, yeah, again, he has a major arcana saying that, yes, you have, you need to look at things from a different perspective, which you are doing, and waiting, waiting. Time, um, time is passing by, uh, hanging around, waiting to make this decision, but you will get to your decision. It, and the card number is also a 12, which reduces down to a 3, which is a very good number as well. And... Um, the next card um, is the Hierophant, another major arcana. So definitely in the love life, uh, major things happening because you have two major arcanas out of three. And the Hierophant is um, somebody in higher esteem. It could be a judge, a magistrate. Um, this is a love reading. So somebody in a legal capacity or a counsellor, somebody definitely in high esteem, um, you can see he sits on a throne, so he's basically ruling. This is the love reading that we are doing. And it also give, he offers you the ideas or um, the messages of what the next move is. And uh, he gives you the keys of knowledge and you make your own decision. It is on the physical plane, yeah. So this could be um, also that uh, there's marriage um, in your future. And the decision is to make the decision on marriage, um, having had little differences or thinking about it, resting about it, um, going within to try and uh, make the decision, thinking alternatively, must I, mustn't I, uh, should I, shouldn't I, maybe having the fear, um, but and waiting also f uh, to make the decision. It hasn't been something that's just been made up um, or just jumped into. And in the Hierophant uh, saying absolutely yes, um, you're doing this in a traditional way. This is traditional laws uh, that are governing you and you've made your decision or you found the answers that you were looking for, thinking with the keys there and um, made the decision yourself because he gives you the information if it is a counsellor giving you the information to make the right decision that will be for your best interest and also if uh, it is a marriage there's the, the high priest uh, not high priest the magistrate or whoever it is that will be marrying you um, somebody in the church clergy something like that okay so that is uh, for the love side then for Work and career. We start off with excellent card again. Another three year, and this is uh, the, let's bring it forward. Um, waiting for your ships to come in. Basically, he's got two rods planted in. The other one is put at the back because he's he knows. Um, although he's got three rods firmly in the ground, he knows that there's more to come to him, and he's restlessly looking out. He's turned his back to what he has because he knows there's better for him, and he's waiting for that to come in. Um, and it will be, as you can see, the little ships at the bottom there um, will bring him um, the finances and the, the, the work and career that he's looking for. Definitely a um, very positive card because it is also passion, it's fire, it's rods. So they definitely action, passion, fire, enthusiasm with this card as well. So a very good opening. And then the next card was also a major arcana card. Two major icons in this as well, in this uh, work and uh, career reading. The judgment card comes up, and it's rebirth, as you can see, rebirth, being born again, uh, being called by the angels, blessed by the angels, shedding all you no longer needed. If you were unhappy in your work and career, you've shed that or will be shedding that and being born again. You're getting out of the darkness, climbing out of the boxes, they're coming out of the coffins reaching up naked, freed themselves of everything they no longer need and require and answering the trumpet's call to uh, move on to a better life and to start a new um, position or 
career uh, and that will be more blessed and in line with their authentic self. And then we move on to um, the Emperor. And the Emperor is a major arcana card. He's the Aries card. Absolutely Aries. Yeah, you are sitting in your throne. And he's the highest of the highest. I mean, um, the king is the king. The Emperor is higher than the king. The king rules a kingdom. The Emperor rules an empire. And um, yeah, you are ruling your empire. Sitting in your authority with your red robes on passion, enthusiasm, He's balanced. Um, he's a man of authority. He knows how to um, do his work to the best of his ability. He's balanced. He doesn't take nonsense. Um, absolutely in his element and uh, authority and doing well for himself. You can't get higher than this. So another excellent reading for work and finance. Uh, really, I mean, two major corners. One, the uh, minor and the same yeah I mean two excellent readings love love excellent can probably have marriage coming on new career absolutely fantastic and doing really well for yourself being happy and um, making that change uh, an absolute change uh, a change that yeah takes the courage of Aries to just step out and make that move and change you've ended a cycle which areas have been going through pretty tough cycles the a cycle has ended and this is the new beginning the birthing the new beginning in that work and career in a profession that is more authentic more fulfilling uh, making you feel like um, the authority that you are and um, being blessed having uh, the universe take care of you you're being there for you and then your finances the finances, you start off with the Knight of Cups, and he's uh, the Knight in Shining Armor, as we call him. He brings you a message that will be um, good for your emotions. It will be a happy message. Um, he's normally the romantic guy, but this is in your finances, so he's going to bring you a message that's going to make you very happy. His horse is moving. It's light-colored, so it will be uh, a good, uh, comforting happy message that will be coming to you and he also the night brings change so there's change coming that is very pleasant in your finance situation for your finances then we move on to the king of wands and again aries this is an aries card it is the fire element the king of wands is a man that is uh, has integrity he rules his kingdom so your finances you'll be stable you have enthusiasm, there's new um, little twigs and buds coming off this rod, meaning that there's new ideas, sprouting new ideas with enthusiasm, with passion, with action. Um, this is a very active man. Uh, he um, doesn't just sit on his throne, he's, he's, he rules more action. He won't hesitate to get up and get in, get his hands dirty and move and do what he has to do to get done what needs to be done. He's a good father, a good husband, a good provider and um, yes, he is he, uh, a passionate person, loving, kind um, and a fast mover, definitely a fast mover and rules his kingdom. So finance is looking very good. And then we have the Four of Pentacles, definitely reading into the finances because Pentacles are about money, uh, tangible things, property, investments. And um, it's saying, uh, hold on tight to what you have, your cash, uh, or invest it very well. Whatever your finances are that are coming in, because the message is coming in and um, Let's just do it this way so that we can see the message is coming in. Very pleasant message about your finances. You will be <coughs> ruling your kingdom in a very fair and uh, action way. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, then you will be, you'll invest either in property, because there's property there, or in savings or whatever it is, but you will take care of your finances and you need to take care of your finances. So it's not a card of being stingy or holding on too tight. In this case, it definitely is that you need to invest, look after your money, uh, whether you invest in property, in real estate, in uh, an investment account, whatever it is, you will be. He's a king as well. You will be investing 
and looking after, taking care of your money, storing it, taking care of it um, like a king would do and um, the message coming in. So there we go, Aries. Very, very good reading for you. Very positive. Uh, um, I wish I could put this so that we could see it better, but that's your reading. And then I just wanted to do a quick little oracle card while I shuffle them here. Please, universe, I ask you, solely you, and what is the message that comes through from spirit um, that will best cover the month, the month, not the year, the month of April 2018. I thank you for this in the name of the universe. And there we go. Aries. Oh my word. There we go. Absolutely. Soulmate relationship. A new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. And that is in your love reading. Absolutely. There we go. This relationship that you're going to be getting into or are into is a soulmate relationship. It's a karmic relationship and it will be blessed for a very long time. Where Saturn is now, the changes that happen now will be for a long time. They will be stable and um, exactly what we need. And for money and finances, for the healing, it says your personal power issue uh, increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. And now this is absolutely pertinent. I want to read this to give reverence to this book for father healing. It is in your money. Now, in your finance and career, and I know that, um, let me just find it here, that if you have anything blocking you to do with your father, that will definitely hold you back from um, getting further. So I'm going to read it quickly, and it says, uh, your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. I'll hold it there while I read it. Beautiful card. Oh, let's just put it here, pop it up. Oh my, this isn't even working. Sorry about that, Aries. Really be patient with me. Okay, there we go. It says, this card shows that you still have some father issues left to heal. The healing doesn't need to take a lot of time. It simply requires your willingness to be free of any old anger, grief, or fear related to your male parent. Universal energies are either male or female. Male energy is expansive and giving. Female energy is nurturing and receptive. If you're unhealed with respect to your father, the universe seems to be ungenerous. If you're unhealed towards your mother, we won't accept the gifts the universe offers us. The more you focus on the spiritual truth of your father, the more your heart will be receptive to the universe's continuous and all-encompassing giving. Accept your rightful bounty and open your arms to your divine inheritance. Affirm every day, I now focus on the love that is the spiritual truth of my Father and I hereby balance my karma between us. I now let go of anything but the love and the lessons of my relationship with my Father. And Aries, very, very pertinent card to let go so that you can receive from heaven and uh, the universe and the spirit realm what is possible with major corners absolutely what is possible in your life um, by setting free or letting go of the block that you might have regarding a father figure in your life and uh, for the finances card finances let's just get a card, oracle card there and it is make a wish it says this magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation so Anything that you wish and desire with your finances. Oh, we can't get this up again. There we go. The universe will give it to you. This is a wish card. Make the wish for your finances and it will be given to you. This is a promise from the universe. It's from the Oracle deck. And um, this is a birthday present. This is the best reading ever. And... Um, it gives me goosebumps to know that Aries, we've been going through a really tough time and uh, the universe is now finally rewarding us for the hard work that we've put in. With Saturn, you reap what you sow. And um, we've been sowing for a long time, so now we finally will reap. And to read this card, it says, Say an affirmative prayer right now, which means stating your desire as if it were already true. Thank heaven for the reality and feeling your heart and belly that your dream is actually a reality. 
For example, say, thank you, heaven, for whatever your desire is. I'm truly grateful for your continuous support. Now is a magical moment. Go into a quiet space, even if it's just for a moment. Close your eyes and imagine that your wishes come true. Feel it with your entire being. Then express thanks for the gift and release it like a helium balloon that goes straight to heaven. If you need to take action to co co-create this wish, You'll be given strong and repetitive guidance in the form of feelings, thoughts, ideas, inner words, signs, visions or dreams. It is important that you follow this guidance in order to bring the wish into physical form. And Aries, just to speak from my own life, yes, big changes. I'm going to be getting married very soon and I know it's my soulmate. Um, career and changes i've set free the hurts and the blocks that i've had in my life and it's been pretty tough yes and i'm pursuing the the career of my dreams which is the terror and numerology and astrology and just feel elated that this is taking off it, it, it's slow but i love it and i'm learning every single day and yes absolutely uh, I'm following my heart's desire, my true authentic self. And as far as investment, the wish that I've made has actually come true. I uh, have been enthralled in a dreadful uh, legal situation that has been grossly unfair and uh, the universe has finally set me free of that and brought karma to me. And um, I can only just say thank you for a battle that has gone on for five years how grateful I am that finally the unfairness is out of my life and um, the blessings are coming to me as well. So with all of that, I wish this on you. I know this is for all Aries, that this is our solar year. We've ended cycles. It's our new beginning and I wish you all the best. Thank you for everything and thank you again for subscribing and sharing.